Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I wanted to go over some Crypto Hopper tips and tricks. Uh, basically, a list of common questions that I hear um, either in the comments or in our Facebook group. Um, as you know, as much as I want to kind of get away from uh, Crypto Hopper or at least move on to some other topics, you guys keep bringing me back. So, which is fine, I guess. Um, there's a huge demand for it, so. Um, that's fine with me. I mean, I like the bot and um, I like talking about it. And uh, so it's perfectly fine. We'll, we can do some more videos. Um, before I do that, I uh, just wanted to share some news. So Bitcoin uh, dropped uh, well over $500 uh, dollars the past day. And um, there was the reason for that was the South Korean exchange was raided. Um, this is a news article. So the uh, Upbit uh, crypto exchange in South Korea was actually raided under suspicion of fraud. So that was kind of interesting because um, the Bitcoin price was, um, I think it was what, like 9,200 maybe. It was, it was over 9,000 um, yesterday. And then like uh, this morning I woke up and it was, you know, like 8,500. So it literally dropped over 500 some dollars overnight. Um, and I'm, you know, thinking, you know, what in the world caused this? And uh, this apparently um, happened. Or was this, uh, South, or at least that's what they say. I mean, it could literally be anything, right? Um, but Upbit uh, South Korean exchange was raided. Um, I get a lot of my crypto news from this investing.com. Here's the, the main website. So it's investing.com forward slash news forward slash cryptocurrency dash news. Um, it's a lot of cool. Uh, I guess it's a lot of um, <clears throat> or it's a, it's, it's a great place to get crypto news. It's all on you know one page, um, quick little descriptions, um, all kind of summarized. Um, just a quick way to go to and just quickly scan because, you know, I'm sure everyone's kind of uh short on time so this is a great site to just to come to every day and just uh, quickly just kind of scroll through and just quickly uh, scan the headlines here and just kind of see what's going on in, in the crypto world so it's a really cool website that i like to use um, again it's uh, investing.com forward slash news forward slash cryptocurrency um, hyphen news so getting on to crypto hopper <clears throat> so i made a list of tips and tricks Basically, um, like I, I've been using the bot for I think over eight months now. Um, we have a, almost a 1,500 uh, person a Facebook group, um, a crypto group, Crypto Hopper. So I hear a lot in that group. A lot of people, you know, in the comments of the videos. Um, and then obviously, you know, I have two hoppers myself, and then I work with um, other folks too, you know, with with their hoppers. So I see a lot of questions and um, kind of what you know, what frustrates folks with the bot. So I kind of made a list and I wanted to kind of share that with you guys. So Crypto Hopper tips and tricks. I'm just going to kind of read through this if you guys wanted to follow me. So a big tip is turn buying off when the market is crashing. A lot of people don't realize this. So turn the bots buying off when the market's crashing badly. So leave the selling on in case a coin gets pumped, you know, during a crash, not to miss up not to miss out on profits and um, then obviously turn that buying back on when the market starts to increase again um, or the bottom has been reached and then you can base the market off of the price of Bitcoin as they correlate um, and I did a video on this a, a week or so ago so make sure you watch that how all the other coins kind of follow the price of Bitcoin and they do really correlate so if Bitcoin goes down the other altcoins and the rest of the market kind of go down with it and then if bitcoin price goes up the rest of the market and all the other altcoins kind of go up with with it too so um when we say you know watch the market or if the market goes up or what the market goes down that's basically you can basically just watch the price of bitcoin as of now i mean it's, it seems like uh right now in, in you know 2018 or the spring, uh may of 2018 it's been correlating or pretty much all of 2018 so far it's been correlating pretty well um, and, and, and again, make sure you watch that last video I did on this um, and uh, kind of go into details of, you know, why I think it correlates. And then we go and there's tools out there that show coin correlations and all that. <clears throat> um, and then it's a, you know, Crypt Crypto Hopper does allow you to somewhat automate this with their trigger functionality. Um, but I have personally seen this not to always work due to API lag and other issues. 
So, you know, please do not rely on this. Um, there's a big issue with Binance and their API limits on how many requests the bot uh, can send at one time. So if you do have triggers set up to enable buy and disable buy, please do not rely on those. It's a great uh, tool to use, but when it comes down to, um, you know, just solely relying on that, please don't do that because it's not, it's not foolproof. And, uh, you know, with Binance's API limits, you can only send so many requests per, uh, or so many um, actions per request in, in Binance's API, uh, where, you know, if, 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 if the bot's trying to buy or sell, and then also trying to enable buy or enable sell, it may not um, activate all, all of those actions. So, um, good thing to know there. Uh, moving on to percentage profit and trailing stop loss settings. So this is a huge question. You know, what should my settings be? And again, I'm not telling anyone what to do. I'm not an expert at all with a bot. This is just kind of what I've seen and what I uh, have personally used and what I've seen others use with um, good success. So please don't, um, you know, take this as you know written in stone this is just kind of a, a recommendation um, but, and also feel free to you know comment down below in the comments to um, of what you guys use too for your uh, profit percentages in your trailing stop loss settings because I'd be interested um, but I do you know I do hear from a lot of folks and saying you know kind of what they use and what works and what doesn't but um, the more the merrier um, so if you guys could share you know what you guys use that help me and then I you know spread that back in other videos to help others as well so bear market, um, obviously a bear market is when the market's going down. You can, you know, obviously if the market goes down, you can kind of correlate that to if Bitcoin goes down. Um, you want to go with a conservative uh, configuration or um, conservative profit percentage. So what I normally do is I, I just do a fixed set profit of like around 1%, you know, so 1.2% uh, are low enough to make profits after fees. So depending on what exchange you're using, um, you know, whether if you're using, you know, a Bittrex, I believe charges, you know, a buy and a sell is a 0.5%, uh, 0.25, 0.25. Um, so, and then if you're using Binance, you know, it has much lower fees. So it all depends on what exchange you're using. Um, so the goal here is because the market is so uh, bad, you know, being in a bear market, you want to be, uh, you just want to kind of scrape the top. You want to get just tiny little profits or the like the, the lowest profits you can possibly get. So what I normally do is just set that profit as low as I possibly can just to make enough after the fees. So this 1.2 could actually be lower. It could be even like a 0.5 or a 0.8 depending on what exchange you're on and um, you know what fees. Uh, and remember, you know, Crypto Hopper does not factor in the fees. So when you set this profit percentage, um, and so if I put this at a one and I'm using Bittrex, um, I, that would only be a 0.5% uh, gain after a buy and sell um, uh, profit. So just remember that. And then, you know, turn off trailing stop loss and use trailing stop loss only. So I, I wouldn't use trailing stop loss in a, in a bear market. But again, that's just kind of what I do. But you know, I'm open to suggestions um, or what you guys have been doing or, you know, what what everyone else is uh, uh, or what's been, been working for everyone else. Now, a stale market, um, so they call this a sideways market, um, stale market, sideways market, same thing. Uh, it's basically when Bitcoin is not moving or the other um, coins are kind of, you know, it's not it's not a bear market. It's not a bull market. It's kind of, you know, just kind of stagnant or sideways. So I go in, uh, set a profit percentage of 5%. So that's that top field in the config. I do an arm of 1.5 and then a trailing stop loss of uh, 0 0.3. And then I turn off, use trailing stop loss only. So what this does is it'll use uh, both. So it'll use the arm. So if a coin goes up to 1.5, it'll activate my arm. Then obviously if it drops down to a 0.3, it'll sell for a 1.2% profit. Um, but also if it uh, goes up to a 1.5 and it keeps going up, um, it'll, you know, have a potential to sell for more. But in this case, it would immediately sell at 5% here. Um, and the reason why I do that is, uh, is just to kind of grab these profits. So 
Um, and that's what the setting here does is it basically saying don't just use the arm use use both so use the trailing stop loss arm and use the profit percentage so if for some reason it only goes up to 1.5 or 2 or 3 or 4 it'll use this but if it goes up to 5 it'll immediately sell for 5 and then it'll just you know grab that 5% or and then you know uh, you'll have that as as a uh, you know 5% gain um, it's just a quick way to grab, uh, you know, higher profits when you, so you're not, you know, uh, losing any with with a trailing stop loss. And then a bull market um, is obviously when the market's going up. Um, BT, BTC in the market is on the rise, so I do a profit percentage of ten per ten percent. But in this scenario, it gets ignored because I turn on use trailing stop loss only, so that actually dis. Um, uh, you know, it ignores this or deactivates this. So this number can actually be nothing. I'm not even sure why I put 10 there, just to kind of differentiate between this one, I guess, just so you guys know that we're not, uh, it's a different uh, setting. Um, so basically the bot is just looking here. It's just looking at the arm and the trailing stop loss setting. So for this, you can do, it's really depending on how well the market is, is doing. So anywhere from like a three to a 5% arm, and then a trailing stop loss of, I don't know, maybe like a one to a two, two percent, um, say like a 1.5 here. But again, I mean, if it's taking off, um, you know, the coins are all up, you know, 10% or 15%, you can, you know, bump this up to maybe even an eight or a 10% and, you know, even bump this, bump this up as well. So it, it, it again, it's all up to, uh, how much of a, a bull market it is. It's, it's very dependent, right? And again, these are just um, kind of what I what, what I've, I've been doing. Um, I'm not uh, making necessarily recommendations. Um, moving on, so another big question I see in the comments and in our Facebook group are um, the bags, or bags are the negative um, open positions. So it's these are the coins that you the bot has bought either via signals or through t uh, technical analysis. And uh, the bot bought them, and then the coin went down, and 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 it's you know been one day, two days, three days. It's been a week. It's been two weeks, three weeks, whatever. And the coin is in the red. Um, that's what we call bags. So um, that's this is you know in in the trading world, and especially with with crypto, um, it's a fact that we have to live with, right? So we're always going to have bags for the, and especially with how volatile uh, crypto is, because one day it's up, one day it's down, just like today. I mean, it, the whole market just tanked because of that one crypto exchange got raided. You know, it freaked people out, right? It's the whole FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt. Um, so something like this happens, everyone, you know, either changes their um, coin allocations or they sell off or, you know, coins change hands or, you know, just things like that. So it's very volatile. Um, and with that, with that said, that's why we get these bags. So here's some just some tips and tricks. And again, it, I'm not telling anybody what to do. This is just kind of from what I've seen, um, some things that work. Um, but, but again, take it with a grain of salt. So first thing is stay up to date on coins that are delisted on the exchange, specifically Bitrix, because they've been delisting almost monthly. Um, so if you find yourself having negative open positions, um, that have been sitting there for a while and, you know, they tanked 10%, 20%, 30%, um, you may have bought a coin in this case on Bitrix and then Bitrix has announced that they're delisting it and that has completely dropped the price of that coin so that's one thing to check so go on uh, your exchanges website um, uh, monthly and just make sure that you don't have any coins that um, that you bought um, and, and again I mean if you if like I said if you have these big big bags um, and you're wondering you know why in the heck do I have this one coin that's you know negative 40% um, it may be a coin that the bot bought, you know, a week or two ago, and then they announced that it's being delisted, and that's the reason why it dropped so much. So it's one thing to check. Um, in this case, like for Bitrix, go on their support website, and they have like a, I think it's like in their in their blog or in their forum, and every month they post the coins that are getting delisted. Um, but um, all you know, make sure all regardless of what exchange you're on, just you know, just verify that. 
Um, another thing you can do is deselect the buy all coins um, from your config setting if you're on the kangaroo package. So if you're on the kangaroo subscription package, you have that option to select all coins. Um, so that's good and bad. Um, in this case, it's bad if you're getting a lot of bags um, because what you're doing is a lot of those coins could be, you know, very small market cap coins that are great for pump and dumps. Um, so they, uh, you know, group um, out there on Telegram or whatever finds a coin that has a very low market cap that they can get, you know, a hundred, a couple hundred people to buy and that jacks the pr price of the coin up. And then they um, announce, you know, that they're going to sell it and then everyone sells and tries to get a profit, right? It's a pump and dump. But <clears throat> Um, the reason for that is sometimes the bot's just not fast enough to, to get these. And, uh, and if you're using Mining Hamster uh, for your signals, Mining Hamster is a pump detection group um, or a pump detection signaler. Um, so they are detecting these pumps and sometimes they'll detect these smaller market cap coins and the bot's just, you're just not getting in fast enough and then you're left with, you know, a coin that's, uh, you never got, you know, you were never able to get profit from, and, and now it's sitting there, you know, negative 30 um, in your open position. So, it's one thing to note. So, what I would recommend is to deselect that all coins and then just go on coin market cap and only select the top 100 or 150 coins um, by manually selecting them in the config settings. Um, and again, that <clears throat> it depends on your exchange. So, the top 150 coins may only be 63 coins or so. Um, you know, 50, 60, 70 coins or so, um, depending on what exchange you have. So Bitrix is an example of this as they only have um, around 63 coins on their exchange um, of coin market caps, top 150 coins in, in market cap. So just, just know that. Um, and then again, this will prevent the bot from buying smaller uh, volume coins that um, could have been used in pumping up scams, helping to eliminate, you know, the negative bags. And then here's some stats on this too. So Average statistics um, on bags from some of these signaler, signaler groups, if you're using signals, 80% um, or 86% are sold within a week, 10% within two weeks, 4% are sold or, or basically with a loss. So just note that uh, these, these stats when you're, um, when you have open positions and you're unsure what to do with them. So again, these are kind of um, a combined these are combined stats from the signal group. So just know that every signal you get is not going to be profitable. You're going to get signals that just never turn green. Um, and that's just a fact of life. Um, but for the most part, you will get signals that are profitable. Um, but even the profitable ones, you know, they're meant to be hold, you know, for up to a week. And then, you know, 10% up to two weeks. So just, just note that. And then, you know, obviously some will never go green. I don't want to say never, but it could be, you know, longer than two weeks. So just note that. Um, so if you see, a, a, you know, a coin, you know, three days in, it's gone red, please don't, um, you know, freak out that, you know, 86% are literally um, supposed to be held for a week and then 10% within two weeks. So um, another little trick here <clears throat> from a, a member in our Facebook group, um, when you have bags that are over 15%, um, in the hole or 15% red um, that are over, you know, 10 days or so. Um, he recommended not to, to use the uh, dollar cost averaging, the DCA feature in Crypto Hopper, as that will triple your amounts of assets. And obviously, if that goes down further, um, it's a big hit in the cost. But he actually recommends, this is a good idea, he recommends, recommends instead of buying, um, or he recommends instead just buy the same amount of assets manually at the new price and then sync the asset. So essentially you have doubled your asset. So now, you know, you're at a 7.5 loss instead of a 15% loss. And then just give it a week and you should be able to squeak, um, squeak out of that uh, negative position. So in other words, um, because the DCA feature is basically tripling your amount. Um, and if that goes down even further, you're even further in the hole. He's recommending, you know, just use the manual buy feature of the same coin um, and then just, you know, buy, double it. Um, to get try to get out of that bag um, and the last thing here too for these bags I'm seeing a lot of people they have their trailing stop-loss arms and their profit percentage is set they're just set too high and then they're wondering why they're left with so many bags you know so they're trying to get 
you know, 5%, 3%. And when the market's not there, I mean, the, the bot will just never sell a coin or the coin will just never reach that, right? So and then you're just always left with a bag. So my advice would be, you know, just skim the top for 1% to 2% gains, you know, especially in bear or flat markets. Um, and so just, you know, just lower your profit percentages um, um, and or arms, um, maybe even down to 5, you know, 0.5%. Um, or under one percent um, just to try to it, it, the goal here is to squeeze out any gains it's not to you know shoot for the moon um, in a in a full-fledged bear market maybe but you know the, the past several months um, you should not be expecting to get you know moonshot percentages I would just you know try to skim skim the top go for you know one percent gains maybe even less um, and then regarding this whole percentage buy amount um, of crypto hopper so the goal is to turn over or compound your entire portfolio daily or whatever uh, base currency you're using whether it's bitcoin or ether um, so find out how many trades your bot is doing per day and then factor that into your total balance to get a percentage buy amount or that percent per trade so an example being you know if my bot was doing five trades per day I would want my percentage buy amount to be 20 percent to give me five trades on my portfolio per day so then that would compound my whole balance um, you know per day so that's kind of the goal um, and how um, you know I would recommend using that percentage buy amount and then this minimum BTC amount per order I see a lot of people you know questioning this and there's a lot of confusion around that so <clears throat> this is basically telling the bot what the minimum trade amount should ever be assuming it cannot make a trade at the percentage buy amount so example being you know you don't have enough funds to make this um, you know like a 5% trade or whatever is listed in, in this uh, field here um, it'll use this um, to, a number to make a trade so in other words if I have this set up as you know say 20 percent here um this would be and i have you know 0 0.03 0 0.001 or whatever um listed here that would be the minimum the bot would ever make uh for a trade if it cannot make this 20 percent so that, that's basically what it is. So if, first, the bot will try to make 20% of your balance. Obviously, if you're, you don't have enough balance left to, to make 20% trade, it'll fall back on this amount, and, and then it'll use this amount um, to make the trade. Again, this is not a percentage field. It, it's actually a listed uh, number uh, in, in BTC or your base currency. So that's it for the tips and tricks. Um, I just want to let you guys know too. To uh, this, we have a free trading crypto spreadsheet on the. Uh, it's in our Facebook group and then in the on the LifeZiltar website too. So if you go here, it's www.lifeziltar.com, and you come down and you just subscribe um, to this uh, email list, so you get like notifications of these blog posts. Um, you'll get this free crypto trading spreadsheet, which is uh, um, pretty awesome, which is here. I, I showed this a lot in the other videos. So it basically tracks all your, um, it tracks the BTC price automatically for you. Um, it does all the calculations, does the profit percentages, your e USD returns, percent gains from prior trades. Basically, all you do is put in your BTC and assets um, and then your um, total returns from your bot. Um, and that, that's basically about it. And again, this is kind of optimized for Crypto Hopper, but it can be used for anything. Um, it's pretty cool. Again, you know, go to the www.lifezoltar.com, put in your email, hit submit, and then you'll get the link to download that uh, spreadsheet. Or you can go to our, our uh, Facebook group um, too. Another thing cool too is make sure to go to our Facebook group because we have a crypto grower signaler uh, spreadsheet where we're mapping out all the uh, um, signals from crypto grower and then we're listing you know how many or are you know over one percent or what's a percentage of them you know being bad and percentage of them being good because I mean you can go on their little website there on crypto hopper but it only shows you you know like the last 24 hours or so um, but we're actually you know mapping this all out and not you know just going off of what they say on their website there so um, again, the, all these links will be down below in the video description. 
And let me know in the comments too what you guys kind of think for some of these. Uh, I don't I don't want to say recommendations, but more so kind of what I've been doing um, and what I hear. Uh, these kind of tips and tricks. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you want to see, you know, in other videos. Again, I'm trying to do some other stuff too besides Crypto Hopper, but there's just so many, there's just so much request for Crypto Hopper that I just I get, keep coming back to it, I guess. So anyway, anyways, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Take care.